Danke, danke. Uh, ich bin also very excited to be affiliated with Das 1860 Munich. Uh, but I'm getting another call here. I've got to go, guys. Hello? Head Physio Peter Fryer. Merry Christmas, mate. So, uh, so what did you buy me for Christmas? Two injuries? Uh, mate, I don't want them. To who? Boggle and Dan? Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa and welcome to Season 4, Episode 7 of Brentford as we follow in Dean Smith's footsteps and today we have two massive, massive festive, fixtu festive fixtures even against Arsenal and Manchester United. It really is title on the line today, any chance we have of winning it and we could do have a chance to get ourselves back into the title race uh, and I'll show you why in just a second but we need to win today's games. Uh, but... It doesn't start off on a good note because we have two major injuries for players that are going to be missing the festive pitch, uh, fixtures. That is Jaden Boggle, our right back, twisted ankle. He's out for about a week or two. It's already been out for four days, so it's about a three-week injury all up. Um, obviously, that is a massive, massive loss because Jaden Boggle... He's been an absolute revelation since we signed him. So he's going to be a big miss. And the other player that's going to miss the festive fixtures is Dan. Uh, a pulled ankle ligament for him. Uh, you can see there he's already been out for four days. He's about another two weeks away or so. Um, Dan has done okay at times. Um, flatter to deceive other times. But he's still a very good player and someone that we are very, very much going to miss. So that's not ideal. Now the other news since last episode is we've got and picked ourselves up an affiliate club. Um, and that is uh, 1860 Munich in Germany. Uh, this is the sort of affiliation where we will hopefully get um, get some German players coming into our youth ranks. So we'll see how that how that plays up. We, we do, of course, have the link with the Brisbane Roar to try and benefit us financially. Uh, and now we've got one... Oh, in, with 1860 Munich that will hopefully benefit us in terms of youth prospects. So that is that. We do have one game to catch you up on after the shambles that was last episode. That was against Derby County in the league. We took the lead through a wonderful Jaden Vogel solo effort against his former club. Mabry added a second late in the first half and Ivan Michelotti a third in first half stoppage time. Derby pulled one back early in the second half. But Michelotti crossed for Aaron Hickey to seal the points late on. So there we go. Much, much more like it. Boggle with a wonderful goal against his former club. And then he uh, went and injured himself. Both Dan and Boggle got injured in this game. Uh, Mabry with a penalty. And then Michelotti and Hickey with goals as well. So very much a day for fullbacks, to be honest, from open play. Uh, we did come up against Rasic, of course, our former player at Derby County. Um, Justin James did not, uh, surprisingly enough... <laughs> feature in their lineup. I'm not sure if he's injured or not, but uh, of course they paid us a lot of money for that uh, rubbish fullback. Uh, but there we go, really, really good performance as you can see. And what that means, if you go and have a quick look at the league table, is we're currently in third, but we do have a game in hand. Our game against Arsenal is a sort of a later kickoff. I think it's a late kickoff on Boxing Day. We're currently Boxing Day in game. Um, Tottenham beat Manchester United. So if we, and we play Manchester United this episode, so if we were, and it's a big if, but if we were to win both our games today, we would go back to only three points behind Man United at the top of the table. So massive, massive games. Um, nothing else has changed. We won't get our Europa League draw till after the first knockout round has taken place. And obviously we've already got our FA Cup, uh, FA Cup draw there. And we of course got hum humiliated out of the Carabao Cup last episode. Let's have a look at what we're doing here against Arsenal. We are hosting... Uh, we've had three draws and two defeats against them historically. Thierry Henry is the Arsenal manager. Uh, a decent manager, not a bad coach, um, but that kind of is what it is. A balanced, direct style of play. We can see here we're expecting a, something around this formation. Um, let's have a look here. We've got, uh, you can see there, their heat map. Maybe a little bit open at the back. Uh, do like to attack down the wings. Funny that for Henry, isn't it? Particularly on the left, I would imagine. Passing network is there. Key passes as well. You can see tends to be in that final third. Uh, and let's have a look at what the team that we're sending out. Now, my plan here is basically to have a different team for, from Boxing Day than, of course, we've got Manchester United coming up in two days. So to have, a, apart from the goalkeeper, a completely different team. So it's Goodnartson in goal. It's Panzo, McKenna, Bard, and Hickey as the back four. It's Garner and Mabry in midfield. Mabry, of course, is not going to be able to play against Manchester United, so he plays in this one. It's Potter and Luca Bacchio down the wings. It's Munro and Raspadori up top. It's not... It's not our best strike force. Let's hope that they're uh, that they're good enough. So they are coming out as expected. This is uh, you may remember Pereira. This is the guy that rejected us to go off to Leicester uh, when we first got promoted. Eighty-three million pounds he signed for Arsenal for. So they've gone big on him. Um, makes you wonder. Oh, he would have been really good for us, wouldn't he? But anyway, 
he didn't come to us and he probably never will now. But uh, we can see the way the teams are lining up there uh, as expected, which is good. Bowen says pick up where they left off. Um, we've got nothing to lose here. Let's show them what we're capable of. Some calm, we have faith. And let's hope that we can give the fans a Christmas present. Now, Arsenal are first in the form table coming into this one. So it is a really, really difficult big game for us. Um, but like I say, if we can, if we can manage to get the win uh, and then beat Manchester United, which after the showing last episode, it's a long way off. But if we could, um, then we would be only three points back at the top of the table. Uh, Almeida has gone past everybody that's been put in front of him so far. He eventually passes the ball. Tierney's into the penalty area, cross to the back post, and it's gone in off Goodnartsen. Oh. What do we need to do to get a little bit of luck? A good forward run forward by Almeida. We've done okay defensively here. We are, again, very open in midfield. It's hit the post, and good nuts in off his backside. Um, yeah, I mean, the reason we're playing like this is, I know it's open, but we don't have enough midfielders to play sort of two separate teams, two fresh teams, and, and play the way we're going to play the Warsaw formation against Manchester United. Um, but it might, it might prove to be a mistake. I was hoping Arsenal liked to attack down the wing, so I was hoping that we'd be able to sort of... Um, be a little bit better defensively in wide areas with the wingers and the fullbacks, but yeah, that doesn't look like it's working, does it? Because if they're attacking down the wings, obviously the middle of the park is is less important. Um, but that is maybe a little bit more of the second string team, but that's also mainly because we played the strongest team available against Derby to make sure we won that. Here we go with Luca Bacchio. Ball breaks loose to him. Luca Bacchio, can he bore us level? No, he cannot. Saved by the keeper. Unlucky for Luca Bacchio. And can we get a response from the corner and draw ourselves level nice and quickly here? Luca Bacchio knocks it in. It's headed away. Maybe should pick that up. What can he do? Cross. It's Luca Bacchio. Is he on side? It's going to run out for a throw in. And is the highlight going to continue? No, it is not. Let's tell him to get creative and see what we can do here. Well, we haven't seen much from them other than the goal. Unfortunately, the goal is the important thing, isn't it? But... Yeah, I maybe didn't get it as tactically wrong as it initially looked like I may have when they uh, came strolling through the middle of our team. Come on, boys, come on. Let's give it a, uh, let's give it a, 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 a something. They get creative. Here we go. Arsenal throw deep in their own half. Can we go and win this ball back? They go forward quickly. They found Pereira. We know he's quick. Cuts inside. There's no one there. And... I don't know. I think I just want to give up. Um, give it a concentrate. Is it McKenna or is it Bard? Either way, I think Bard might be off. McKenna's, yeah. It's a good goal, isn't it, I think. But we've got to be doing a little bit better defensively than that. Um, Wizards not playing well out there on the right. Don't go and concede another one. Can we get ourselves back into the game? Positive thinking. We're going to nick this. We're going to go up the other end. And the Wizard is going to stick it in the back of the net for us. Ball away. Heathered away. It's still there with Arsenal. Cross comes in again. And we're not defending in wide areas. Boys. Friggin' hell, Hickey. Learn to win a header, mate. That's twice now. And it is 3-0 before half time. I can't bear to watch that again. I'm annoyed. And, um, yeah, I mean, this formation isn't working against better teams, but like I say, we don't have the midfielders to change it. Um, I mean, to, to, to be able to change it for the second leg, uh, second leg, for the second game of the, um, of the festive fixtures. What can we do here? What can we do? We need to change something, don't we? This isn't clearly working. Uh, I wonder if we could play Monroe as a... Monroe is a midfielder. He can do that. Um, the problem, of course, is that at 3-0, the game's pretty much done anyway, isn't it? Uh, da, 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 what can we do? What's this other formation we train here? All right, I wonder if we could use that. We wouldn't actually need to change anything because we can put Raspadori up top. Uh, Monroe in midfield. Garner is a deep liar, so we wouldn't have to. Yeah, wouldn't actually have to change too much. Um, all right, well, let's just try this, I suppose, and see if it works. We've got what have we got to lose, really? Um, let's take it off overlap. Let's 
exploit the middle maybe high tempo uh we'll, we'll go and close them down because what we're doing right now defensively isn't particularly working is it uh go and close them down again for me boys and let's see if this makes any difference for us come on boys let's give them some encouragement see if that works all right can we get ourselves a massive comeback in the second half here Mabry has it. Panzo. Luca Bacchio. Mabry has it again. Strolls around the middle of the park. Ball out there to the Wizard. What can the Wizard do? He gets past his man. Can he pull the ball back into the box? We've got three shirts in there. Back post. It's Luca Bacchio. Luca Bacchio. And he still can't stick it in. Oh, it's almost always a goal when we get Luca Bacchio isolated at the back post like that. But on this occasion, it didn't go in for us. The Bard comes forward. He gets it out to Hickey. He gets it forward. We look a lot better all of a sudden. Can Luca Bacchio win that? No, he cannot. And here comes the sucker punch. Ball over the top. Pereira's in. Pereira. Oh, it's a good save from Goodnartson. I'm wondering with Pereira if we did drop off a little bit. He is a bit of a threat to get in behind. So we probably do need to sit a little bit deeper. Almeida with the corner. Can we get this away, please, boys? The wizard is there. He does get it clear. Can we stop this second ball coming in? No, we cannot. And we've got another set piece to defend here. Ball away. No, it's not away. It's offside, surely. It's not offside. And suddenly I feel a little bit silly in this hut again. 4-0. We still can't defend. It's got... What do you say to that? No pressure, boys. Try and do something that makes you look like you have a clue. Um, all right, let's... Let's get Hamshick on into midfield. Let's get let's get you off. Um, Vance playmaker for Hamshick. What can Mabry do that's useful? Mazella. All right, try that. Panzo with a throw. Luca Bacchio. Panzo. Cross in. It's decent. It's headed away. And Garner will pick up the loose ball. We do have a little bit of space out there in wide areas. There it is with Hickey. Can he get across in? It got to Monroe. Monroe loses out because that's what he seems to be doing. There's a loose pass. We win it back, do we? Yes, Garner's done well there. Raspadori, can he flick a pass in? Luca Bacchio. Luca Bacchio. He's not on today. Oh, he's having a nightmare out there as well, Luca Bacchio. But this, we don't have another option to play on the left side. The Bard's having a nightmare. Good nuts and is having a nightmare in goal. Maybe he gets that clear. Can we get it? We do. Luca Bacchio down to Hamshik. What can Hamshik do? Gets it forward. Raspadori. There's a good ball for Luca Bacchio. Does he have his scoring boots on? Now he does. And Luca Bacchio pulls one back. All right. Here comes the incredible fight back, boys. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, what has happened to us? Um, demands more, boys. A nice goal on the counter-attack, though, nonetheless. Raspadori played in Luca Bacchio. And this time, third time's a charm for him. He sticks away. He's 12th of the season. And, I mean, is there time for us to come back? How close was it? Oh, he's onside. It's fine. Is there time for us to come back and maybe, just maybe, rescue a point here? It doesn't look like it is. We've seen Arsenal give away four goal leads before in the Premier League, of course. Um, but doesn't look like it's going to be on this occasion. Well, last goal wins. Isn't that the rule? I'm sure that's the rule. Schoolyard rules. Um, here we go. Can we go and at least make it look a little bit more respectable? As far as things learnt, I do think we've looked a lot better playing like this um, with wingers and fullbacks than we did to start things off. And it makes you wonder if I should have been doing this to start with. Um, we, the middle of the park is nowhere near as opened. Like I say, the reason I did that is because they were attacking down the wings and I didn't think the middle of the park would be as important if that's the way they like to attack. Um but obviously, I've been proven horribly wrong on that fact. Here we go. Hickey, ball down the line for the Wizard. Can the Wizard pull it back? He can. It's there. Maybe for Luca Bacchio. Luca Bacchio has a second. It's his 4-2. And I have to head my, hang in, head my head in shame here because I've got this horribly wrong to start with. We've changed things up and suddenly we've, we've scored two goals. And nicely worked. Unselfish from Mabry as well, wasn't it? And Luca Bacchio suddenly has two. That's his 13th of the season. And, well, at least we've learnt something from this game, and that is a, a, our second formation, I think, might need to change. Um, we'll say unlucky. So a big, big missed opportunity there. Arsenal get the better of Brentford. We've, as I said, at least we've learnt something from it. So that's, that's a positive. 
Uh, Luca Bacchio has himself a double, and it is a big missed opportunity as well, um, because we already saw Manchester United had lost, and we haven't taken advantage of that. But guys, wait right there, we are facing them next. Let's see if we can get some revenge for that Carabao Cup humiliation. Okay, welcome back. It's part two of the festive fixtures. We're going to Old Trafford. Last time we were here, we got absolutely embarrassed last episode in the Carabao Cup uh, quarterfinal. Um, so hopefully we won't be doing that again, though we did uh, not do too well against Arsenal there either, did we? It's still the same as last time. Zinedine you know, Zidane is their manager, a balanced standard style of play. Analysis report. Do we have an analysis report for our game against them? No, we do not. Um, this is how they played against Tottenham, their defeat to Tottenham. Uh, we're expecting the same sort of formation. Uh, we can see here a little bit narrow. We're going to try and get down the outsides of them if we can. We're going to try and exploit the flanks in this one. Um, there's their passing network there and their key passes as well. And this is the team we're sending out. I said it would be all change, and it is all change. Good nights in goal. It's Soisi and Sole at the back. It's uh, Diola in the, for the obviously the injured boggle with Michelotti down the left. It's Matteo. It's Hamschick for Ryan Rambleson in midfield. It's Munro and Arp. Uh, they go up top. Let's uh, let's hope we do better than we did last time. So we can see the lineups here. They are playing as expected, which is good. Um, yeah, let's just hope we do a little bit better. Bowen says uh, expected to prove a point today. Um, can we say I want to, I want to be better than we were last time? Um, let's give the fans a performance. Let's try that. Let's try that. We've stressed out Soleil, but hopefully he's fine. Here we go. He's fine. Um, Calm, we have faith, and let's go. And this is it. Back at Old Trafford again. A second episode in a row, and was it, what, 5-2 last time? <laughs> at least we got some goals. All right, here we go. So we see over the ball. Now, of course, January transfer window opens basically at the end of this episode, um, which and we do have money to spend. My plan is I do think our defense needs to be improved. I think we've seen when we put out our second string defense, uh, Bard is just not good enough. Um... So I'd like to try and get in some better central defenders if we can. Hamshik with a ball looking for Arp. Can't quite find him. Anywhere else we need to strengthen. I mean, we could probably do with a few more goals up front. But I don't know if that's... Fete Arp should be scoring more goals. He's a good enough player. We've seen he can do it. He's just not having a good season. Rashford, how has he got so much space out there? Boy, someone's not marking their correct player. But luckily for us, that header goes over the bar. Let's give it a concentrate and make sure that uh, that doesn't happen again, please. Um, it's probably Munro that's out there. The reason that Munro's playing in this one again instead of maybe of Raspadori or someone is that he and Arp have a little bit of a link up, you may have noticed. So um, I'm hoping if, that in playing Munro will get the best out of Arp. And is that a save or just over? Um, they're sort of camped in our area here, aren't they? So let's go and put some pressure on them uh, and maybe just drop the line a little bit. Uh, see if that turns this game around at all for us. We've we've barely touched the ball. We haven't had a shot at goal. Uh, other than that, it's going very well. <laughs> so, we've had a shot now, so that's something. Come on, boys. Come on. We're better than this. What happened to the team? It was the beginning of last year that was just beating everybody in the top of the table. All right, here we go. Diola with a throw. He gets it in there for Arp. Can he get a cross into the box? He can. Munro's there. Not the best in the air. It's heathered away. Now we're going to end up getting caught on the break here. It's always, you think it's going to be your highlight, and then they go and do this to you. Can we win that, please? We can. Soleil's done well. Rambleson nods it down there to Farai. He loses out, though. Rashford's in here. We've got trying to get back, and we do just enough to put him off. And they look a little bit off their game today, don't they? They've had a couple of chances now, and they haven't taken any of them. They've missed hit their shots, and it does just make you wonder if uh, maybe it's not going to be their day. Uh, unlucky, boys. Even though it's not been particularly good. We'll tell the players that aren't playing well. We like to see a little bit more from them. Um, but to be honest, I think after that Arsenal result, we can pretty much write off any chance of winning the league now. Uh, but what we do want to do is if we can take a point from this and then look to build on that moving forward, um, that's probably about the best we could hope for, I think. Uh, we've just got to try and make sure that we are getting in and around that top four come the end of the season. Um and of course, with Arsenal back on full form, uh, they're below us in the table right now, and that could prove a little bit, uh, a little bit of a problem. Monroe's looking apprehensive. We do have other options on the bench, so we're not going to muck around with that. Off you come. Let's get Raspadori on. Diola's not having a great game at right wing back, but we know he can play there. Um, I wonder if uh, there's maybe something about the way we're going about this game that's not quite suiting him. Um, Maybe exploit the flanks. We were doing that, weren't we? So let's take that off and see if that helps us at all. Come on, boys. Come on. 
They're just pinging it around, aren't they? We're not getting anywhere near them. I don't want to get stuck in because we've seen before, it just it seems to give away fouls, penalties, and yellow and red cards. Deli Ali is in here. He's done really well. And how have you been beaten there? Good Nazan. Beaten at his near post. He stood there and watched it go by. Good Nazan's form has fallen off a cliff. He's shipping goals for fun. I wonder if, uh, if maybe that's the problem. He's been so good for us for so long, but is he just having a poor season? It's, that's poor, isn't it? That really is poor. You can't be beaten at your near post from that angle, mate. Um, Fete Arp is having a nightmare. We've got a throw in here. Diola gets it in there for Arp. Can he do something useful? Fete Arp and for Rambleson. Rambleson, back post. It's there for uh, Michelotti and his header straight into the arms of De Gea. And is that the highlight? Possibly. Something's not working for us. Let's try lowering this tempo. Um... I wonder if we lower the tempo, exploit the middle, and look for the overlaps. Well, they're running straight through us. Uh, oh, that's a sitter. Absolute sitter. Um, all right, what can we do? What can I, I'm getting to the point where you can, you can tell I'm just a broken man at this point. I don't know what to do to fix this. Uh, we look really good against Derby, and then we go out against the good teams, and we just look an absolute shambles. All right, is this a kickoff highlight, or is it? It must be. Here we go with Diola getting forward. Can he do something useful? Diola loses out, and that is pretty much as good as it's get for us anyway, isn't it? It's only 2-0. If we can get one goal, if we can get one, then there's a chance. But we don't... We don't look like we know what we're doing, do we? Deli Ali has it. And that'll end the highlight. We've got a set piece to defend now. Oh, wait. It's there. Longerlay has it back in, and it's blocked nicely done. Hamshik. Hamshik gets it out. Is that to a teammate? No, it's not. Um, I'd say we could look to go back to wingers, but we don't have the players to do that. Now, actually, that's something else we need to strengthen in January. Is I do think we need to get another left winger in. Um, and... Oh, headed away. There we go. Fete up gets it clear. But again, there's no one up there. We've got everybody behind the ball. Uh, yeah, just so we have a, another option with, with uh, Luca Bacchio is uh, is not available if he needs a rest, that sort of thing. Um, it's a good block there from Suisi. Credit where it's due. He's done really, really well there. Um, we've got Newcastle up next in a couple of days. It's 3-0. I don't really see the point in changing things at this point then. This game is essentially gone, isn't it? Show some passion, boys. Do something. It must be my team talks that I'm getting wrong because this... The problem I have, you see, not the problem, but what I do is I play through the night before and then I record in the morning. Um, so I sort of forget <clears throat> what I've been doing the night before sometimes. But it doesn't make any sense as to why we are so poor against against these teams i don't i can't i can't figure it out um and i'm absolutely sweating bullets under this hat as well <laughs> come on boys come on i'm tempted to get stuck in on just so we can hurt someone they're getting down the outsides of us. That's a good block there from uh, Michelotti. We haven't seen Michelotti, have we? He had one header that went straight into the arms of De Gea. We saw when we played them in the uh, Carabao Cup, they just ripped us to shreds through the middle. And we've tried to clog up the middle and they're just ripping us to shreds everywhere else. Good nuts and with a goal kick. There to Soleil. Can we get ourselves a goal and at least give ourselves something to cling to here? Hamshik, he goes early ball forward. Here we go with Fete up. Oh, Fete up sticks it away. Nicely, nicely finished, mate. There we go. 3-1. Is there still a chance? Almost certainly not, but you never know. Rambleson to Madio. Madio gets it out to Hamshik. Hamshik picks out the run of Fete up straight through the middle of their defense. And that's a good finish from Fete up. There you go, mate. Seventh of the season. More of that, please. More of that. That's what we like to see from you. We've got a frustrated-looking Matteo. I don't blame him. He's come from Bayern Munich into this shambles. 
And, well, a little bit like the Arsenal game, we've maybe rescued something late on, but nowhere near enough to save them from coming into training tomorrow, I'd say. Um, not pleased, boys. Not pleased. So Manchester United coast past Brentford for the second episode in a row. We've been an absolute shambles. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I... Uh, so we are in danger now. If Arsenal win their game, they will. we will go out of the Champions League spots. Norwich has fallen away. Um, Brighton are still hanging in there, though. But there you go. That is it for today. If you have enjoyed that for whatever reason, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Um, we're get, we were doing defensive training this week. I think the problem maybe we've had a little bit is so many games in December. We haven't really been able to train properly. Um, so we get get to February, we'll actually be able to train and, and sort of do defensive training. But I think what we might do is come back for... Um, if we get past Villa, we might come back for... Uh, <laughs> do we show Arsenal again? Maybe for the FA Cup fourth round and Arsenal. Something around the end of the transfer window. Let me know, how, you know where you think we need to strengthen. I, just, I, said, I do think we need a centre-back, at least one. Um, we need to sort it, just sort ourselves out defensively in general. And maybe a, maybe another winger or two to, so we have a little bit of depth there. But anyway, guys, take care.